Zach is back with a Hulu original review. Today I'm reviewing Uncanny Annie, you obviously got that from the thumbnail. How do I explain Uncanny Annie in the easiest, simplest terms? Basically it's Jumanji, except instead of a like weird, creepy forest world that is trying to kill you through the game, it's basically like a ghost and demonic world that's trying to kill you based on this card game. It's the same thing as Jumanji, basically cut for cut. At least the idea is the same, not the execution whatsoever. Sort of the gist of the storyline, to be honest. What's even funny about this movie is you can tell that the writers knew they were copying Jumanji. Even one of the characters in this movie references Jumanji. I think that was in hopes of showing the audience that they were self-aware while making this movie, that they were kind of copying the same similar ideas as Jumanji. But personally for me, I feel like if you're going to steal another better movie's idea, you gotta at least put your own spin on it or funk or something. Make it a little different. Distance yourself from the main idea of the movie, you know what I mean? It's just with this movie, it doesn't feel like they even tried to distance themselves from that idea. They just kind of took that idea and said, yep, we're doing it. And they just, the only thing that's different is that it's haunted creatures instead of the forest creatures but it, it's literally the same like narrative and storyline so I, I just I, I i can't really give it any credit for that so it does not stop the criticism that i'm about to give it now this movie does copy the main idea of jumanji like i just said but it's nothing like jumanji at all like in the sense of being good <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, this movie, Uncanny Annie, kind of generally sums up the reasons why I don't like the Into the Dark series. Number one, the writing and dialogue in this movie is absolute trash, and I can't really, like, you know, fluff it up for you or, you know, try to be rosy about it. This is it's just bad dialogue. It's just throwaway dialogue, you know? It's, it's that type of dialogue where you can tell as somebody in the audience, you know, watching the movie, that this dialogue is not, it's just there. To waste time. There, there's no real big purpose for the dialogue, which is basically a cardinal sin when it comes to writing in the first place. You know, they even tell you, like, if you're, you know, trying to be a writer, that, hey, when you're writing something, each sentence needs to have some sort of reasoning for being there. You can't just, like, just throw words on a screen just to waste time. Everyone knows what you're doing, and it ends up coming off really, really boring, which it does. I mean, that's generally what happens to the end of the dark movies for me. So in this movie, that's one of the, my biggest complaints, is that it's just horrible dialogue and writing. Because the dialogue is so bad and the characters are so badly written, you don't know anything about the characters. So what happens is they might as well just be like crash test dummies, you know what I mean? I, that's going to be a new uh, word that I use from now on, crash test dummies, at least for horror movies. They're just there to just be like crash test number one and number two dummy, and it, you might as well just have like a sign on their back just saying, please kill me right now, monster. I mean, you don't know anything about them. You just, you're, they're basically just there as bodies to be killed or slain by like the creatures in the movie. It, that's, that's all that they're there for. In the beginning of the movie, they, it almost feels like they were trying to flesh out some of the characters in the movie, but they actually end up confusing me in their efforts to do so. It, it's kind of weird, I'll explain. The first scene in the movie, they actually sound and act like D&D nerds, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, World of Warcraft type of people. They even have like capes on and stuff. It almost reminds me of Stranger Things, you know, like the kids in that movie, how they're really nerdy like and stuff like that. That's the beginning scene in the movie. As the movie goes on, they kind of transform from D&D nerds into like douchey frat boy sort of guys. And it's almost like, it's actually kind of jarring in this movie. So. It actually confused me because at first I was thinking like, okay, they're nerds, they're D and D nerds, they're they're almost like a, a caricature of a nerd or something like that. At least I can grasp my mind around that, you know. But as the movie goes on, they just kind of flip flop from different like I guess you'd say character archetypes, you know, very like normal, general, stereotypical characters like you know the frat boy, the cheerleader, the nerd, you know what I mean, like that. They actually kind of transform into different characters like that in the movie. And I'm just confused. I'm like, what are these guys supposed to be? Are they supposed to be nerds? Are they supposed to be jocks? Like, I don't know. How are they supposed to act? Because we have no background in what their actual personalities are like, I can at least go off a stereotype. But they just don't even, they don't even, like, grab that concept and make it, like, a thing. I'm just sitting there going, what is going on in this movie? I, 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 I can't explain it, you guys. Like, I, oh, my God. 
I just can't explain it. They, they ruin stereotypes in movies. That's how badly written this movie is. It's bad. Now, sometimes I'm actually okay with crash test dummies in movies. Like, I don't mind if, let's say, the monster's okay, the scares are good, the tension's there, you know? And let's say the deaths, the deaths of the people in the movie are, you know, interesting, I guess you could say. I'm okay with that. You can make a pretty entertaining slasher movie if you do those type of things. And I'm okay with some people with underdeveloped, you know, nonsense, you know, as long as you give me something else of interest, if that's, if that makes any sense. But you can tell in this movie that they weren't going for a slasher film. You could tell that they were going for something more emotionally deep, or at least a little deeper than a slasher film. You know, they, they try to do certain things with the characters, you know, about certain lies they've had in their past and things they were keeping secrets from their other friend, but it never really interests me at all in this movie. And, and I'm okay with some, you know, a little bit of uh, romantic intrigue in a movie, you know, maybe some, uh, you know, backstabbing or something like that. I, I'm okay with kind of like political stuff. I like Game of Thrones. That's all. I, that's what that show was all about, you know? But in this movie, they didn't have enough time to like really get into that. And it just felt like they were trying to add like something to their characters at all. Like they were just throwing stuff on a screen, hoping for something to stick. And it actually took away from like just a crazy slasher film if they were to have fun with it. You know, if they just would have had fun with it, they made it so darn serious that it, it was hard not to take it seriously, if that makes any sense. And then when you were taking it seriously, nothing of importance would ever happen in the serious moments. So it was kind of like, and you just didn't care about the characters. It was bad. I'm okay with some bad writing as long as they have good monsters, you know, good tension, good scares. They don't have the scares down. The tension's not there. At least, what do you have for, you know, what do you have for the monsters? The monsters consist of a creepy, smiling, neck-cracking girl, a hysterically laughing old man that just has a creepy face, and a very dark cloaked figure, almost like appearing like the Grun Reaper, but instead of a scythe, he has like a baseball bat. So that was kind of confusing. The way they show some of the monsters wasn't very creepy. It was very wide out in the open. They didn't try to, you know, build the tension before a scare. It was very, uh, hey, you guys, I'm here. I'm a monster. Get ready to kill you. Not, not scary at all. Okay, to sum up this movie, basically the crash test dummies were crash test dummies. You know, the, the characters had no sensible dialogue. They, you know, they weren't really fleshed out in any way. So I was hoping at least for some good tension in the movie, which wasn't there because the monsters were very cliche. They were right out in the open. There was no, you know, they, they, they didn't like jump around corners or anything. They were just basic people in costumes just saying hello to the camera. So that was boring. The acting was super bad in this movie. It was actually laughable, so... There's that. Cannot really get you invested in the movie when people are just making these scared faces that don't look scared at all. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. The only good idea was basically just a copy of some other movie that was a lot better. Like, go watch Jumanji if you want to watch something cool. So all in all, this movie gets an F for me. Boo! You stink! It was even hard for me to watch from beginning to end. I mean, sometimes I can watch some really goofy movies that are really bad if they're just having fun with it. You know, you can tell that the acting isn't that good and they play it off and they overact a little bit. I'm okay with some of that. I like that tongue-in-cheek nonsense. But you can tell in this movie they were going stone cold serious and nothing landed. Not a single damn thing landed. So it gets an F. It deserves an F. They should take that F. That's all I can say about this movie. Please don't watch this movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and do all of that YouTube nonsense. And click the little bell for notifications because I'm going to be doing more horror movie reviews, uh, I guess you'd say, in October. So until next time, you guys, see ya!